do that right now, because that's the next one, the definition of the derivative. Okay, so most of you probably think, I learned all those easy rules for definition of the derivative. I don't need to know how to do the definition of the derivative anymore. Not true. I'll show you why. They're going to ask you to do only part of the definition of the derivative. Okay, I'm going to say this one time. I'm going to say this again. I'm only going to say this one time, so if you're not listening, it's your own darn fault. Am I being straightforward enough? They're going to ask it like this. To find the definition of the derivative, like to find the derivative using the definition of the derivative, you'd have to find f of x plus h minus f of x. Notice that it's not divided by h. They're going to just ask you to find this. And then they're going to give you of f of x equals, um, I'm going to do, let's do this. No, let's do squared. They don't usually do cubes, do they? Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> The tricky part here is 2 times x plus h squared minus 3 times x plus h minus, oh no, plus 5. Do you just, I just want you guys to see that whatever's in the parentheses here, I plug in for whatever was in the parentheses here. So this had x plus h, so every time there was an x, I plugged in x plus h. So 2 x plus h squared minus 3 x plus h plus 5. Okay, now the tricky part, well, there's a lot of tricky parts, but one of the tricky parts is this negative has to be distributed to all of f of x. Is that okay? So, I'm just going to write this down again. Now, because it's not divided by h, I can't just take the derivative because it's not the same thing. Is everyone okay with that so far? I know I'm done simplifying when all of the f of x cancels out. When every single thing that's left has an h, I know I'm done. I'm going to square this. I'm going to put that 3 through. And I'm going to combine like terms. Did I go too fast? Just a little bit. Pause for a second. That's <coughs> not very good. It's frozen. Okay. Do you cancel? I'm going to put that 2 through. 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared. Okay, you know, not everyone can be perfect. Cancel out the x squared. And I'm left with 4xh plus 2h squared minus 3h. You will have one question like that. Simple? It might say something about the definition of the derivative, but it will tell you to find this explicitly. Okay, so I guess just to answer my question, why would you just use like three or four over h? If you did it over h, then you could just cheat and use the easy derivative way. They want to see if you can do the algebra. Oh. <coughs> so is that f of x plus h minus x, is that derivative? No, nope, it's not over h. That is the first time I've said that. Oh. I don't think everyone understands, so I'm going to say that. I'm going to maybe explain. This, yeah, I know, right? Hey, be patient, right? I'm assuming you guys are asking because you don't understand. This is what they're going to have you find. This is the derivative.
everyone okay? Oh, not as face was a zero. Everyone okay? Everyone see? Because I'm not going to actually have you find the derivative using this, so I'm just going to have you find just that part. Okay, you ready for derivatives? I'm just going to write them down and see how many we can get through. Oh, we should do one first. Uh, I'm just going to call this problem number one. Find the equation of the tangent line to f of x equals 3 to the root x squared plus 1 at x equals 0. They will ask you a tangent line question. You're going to have to find a tangent line. How many of you have read at algebra? How many of you can't remember the last time you took algebra? <laughs> yeah, I know. So we're just going to keep working on this and we're going to do good. We're going to do well next year. Uh, yeah, but how are you going to get your slope? Find the derivative. Exactly. Ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. So we're going to go. f of x equals 3 x squared plus 1 to the 1 half. I'm rewriting it like that so that it's easy to take the derivative. So now we're going to be using which rule, guys? Chain rule. Chain rule. Excellent. Okay, he was just so excited. He was like the class clown. He thought he was entertaining. <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I got you nailed. Okay, 1 half comes down and multiplies by the 3. So it's 3 halves. It's not my fault you're black. Mm. X squared mm. plus one. Subtract <laughs> one from the power. Brown. Oh, brown. brown. My mistake. Because yeah. he's only half. I'm <laughs> the one who said it. Subtract <laughs> one from the power. <laughs> hey, guys, we got to do calculus. <laughs> so it's easy for a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna just start this part over again because we really gotta. You guys gotta understand it. <laughs> the three stays. The one half comes down. We're gonna leave the inside alone. We're going to subtract one from the power. And we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside. Okay? So far, so good? Excellent. This 2 and this 2. Actually, I'm going to just show you what I'm doing. So, this stays on top because it's not to a negative power. This is a negative power, so it's going to go on the bottom. And this stays on top because it doesn't have a negative power on it. This negative means it's on the wrong side of the fraction, so I'm going to drop it down. So it's like that. Everyone okay? Mm -hmm. Now, this 2 and this 2 can cancel, leaving me a 3x on top. The 1 half is the same thing as a square root. Can I change the point where you guys are mad at me? Can I make it like one? Just because I think at zero it's not going to help you. Is that okay? <laughs> so far, so good? Yes. This is just the equation f prime of g of x times c prime of x, right? No, that would be if we were doing like a product here. This is. Yeah. Chain rule. Chain rule says if I have a function of another function, then the derivative of that is the derivative of the outside, leave the inside alone, times the derivative of the inside. Okay, so this is going to be our slope, right? But your slope has to be a number. It doesn't have to be a pretty number, it just has to be a number. Everyone okay with that? So I have a number to plug in. So I'm going to have 3 over the square root of 2. Everyone okay? Yeah. 